let's look at from we have already seen some of this before what it is used is to fetch a uh, refer to a table from which we want to select data so let's say if we had a table we can create a temporary table let's say fruits as and by now you should know how we create the table we specify with then fruits as fruits is the table name and here we can specify let's say mango as a, a name of the fruit and then we can specify the weight of the fruit let's say 100 and this could be weight sorry this could be weight in grams of the fruit and we can create another row uh, we'll specify union all to combine the output of these two statements and here again we can say maybe orange and this is name and then weight uh, we can say the weight is 120 grams now if we want to look at all the values from this particular table of fruits what we can do is specify select star and from where here we can specify the name of the table which is fruits and now when we run this particular code in the output we should get two columns we have a column which is name that has names of the fruits and the second column which is weight in grams that is they have the numeric values in there so a general syntax when we are using bigquery is using the name so the syntax is as is as follows we have from and then from we have a project project name and after project name we have the data set and then after data set we have the table let's say if we are looking at a publicly available data set so let's say we have select star from a publicly available data set which is we need to specify it between these uh, angled uh, angled uh, uh, sign at the top apostrophe where we can write big sorry where we can write big query dash public dash data dot samples dot Shakespeare and this what this is telling is this is the project this is the data set and this is the name of the table from that data set now when we run this particular query we should or we don't need to pull the entire so let's stop this and pull only a couple of records let's say we want to pull only three rows from the table and for that we'll again click on run so limit three allows us to limit the output of the query so as you can see we have all the columns which is word word count corpus and corpus date and we've, we have three uh, rows in the output so that's how we can use from there are additional uh, variations of from which we'll look at later in this series where we are doing different types of joins etc if you have any comments or suggestions please let me know in the comment section below or please like share and subscribe Thank you.